Howdy, y'all. Um, I'm going to go over the email etiquette scenario that you did. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to randomize your names. I'm going to grab your names so you don't know and I don't know whose paper I'm going to be looking at or whose email I'm going to be looking at. So let's see who's first. Lexi. Awesome. Here we go. There's Lexi. All right. Um, okay, so I'm gonna randomize it every time so we don't know who we're gonna talk about. So here we go. Uh, let's look at the six things from the email. Uh, so subject line, unfinished data report. So the thing about a subject line, like I said in my video, is that you want it to be uh, vague enough um, that it's not like publicly available information but specific enough that they're going to want to click on it. So unfinished data report to Gray seems like a good subject line to go with. Um, the, the salutation you went with or the greeting is just Grace, her name. I think that's a good way to go. She said, uh, I regret to inform you that I have been unable to complete our assigned project. Uh, my focus was elsewhere these last few months and I only completed about 25% of the report. Since the regional meeting man manager meeting is tomorrow, I propose that we present our data at a future time and come up with a new game plan for the report. Would this work for you? Again, I apologize for the delay. Okay, so the due information that Lexi gave is that she uh, failed to do the report, um, which is the truth. Um, but then her ask uh, seems like it would be impossible, right? This is regional managers who are coming in, traveling in for the meeting. And so you can't just say, well, we're just gonna do it another time. Um, so that ask that Lexi is proposing here, um, one, isn't up to Grace. Um, so it doesn't matter if it works for Grace or not because she's not a regional manager. And, um, and then coming up with a new game plan, uh, you don't have the time uh, to do that. You've got one day because it's, you gotta present it tomorrow. So, um, I mean, and then she's got her, uh, name and uh, title and company in a little box, which cool, I guess that's fine. Um, so the signature part looks good. Um, and then she says, again, I apologize for the delay, but you didn't apologize the first time. There was no sorry in this new information. So that, you know, isn't great. I'm gonna make this a little bigger actually. So to say again, I apologize for the delay doesn't work. Because uh, you didn't apologize the first time. So I think an apology is definitely uh, appropriate in this situation. Um, so there you go. I mean, it looks professional. It's got all the formatting correct, the way it should look. Um, but this ask isn't something you can ask for, and you didn't apologize the first time. But this does work as a closer. Um, all right, who's next? Mary Beth. Mary Poulton, Mary Beth, there we go, alrighty. Okay, so here we go, subject line, project miscommunication, extra time or help. Hmm, I don't know that miscommunication is the, is the problem here, um, but then you have your ask in the subject line, which I think is okay, pretty cool. Um, Grace knows exactly what to expect. Okay, for the greeting, you've got Grace Talbot, which feels a little impersonal. You work with this person, you know them. Seems like you should be on a first name basis with this person. So Grace Talbot feels a little uh, weird, I guess. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've gotten caught up in other work. She hasn't noticed, that's the point of this email. So I haven't worked as much on the project as I should have. I still have about 15 hours of work left to do, and I'm worried that I will not be able to finish it by the time the meeting comes tomorrow. Okay, good. So that's all the information that you needed to give, um, except for that weird thing about, I don't know if you've noticed. I remember talking to you a bit about this project when we first started, but there's been so little communication since that some clarification reminders about what we talked about would be nice. That's probably not the best way to go because you're blaming her for your failure. Would you be able to put in some extra time to help me get this ready for the meeting? And that's a hard ask to do. Thank you. Um, okay, so what you've done basically is you've screwed up and then you blamed her for it and then asked her to put in some extra time. So 
Um, if I were Grace, I wouldn't be very happy with this situation at all. Um, and uh, so, uh, I mean, I like your closer. Thank you with a comma, and then you got your name. You didn't include a title or the company name because you don't have one, and this is a made-up situation. But uh, as far as interpersonal relations go, I don't know that this was the best way to handle this um, personally. I mean, you're polite uh, and everything, but there's some subtext here, um, especially that there has been so little communication since that some clarification reminders about what we talked about would be nice. That's like saying, it's your fault that I didn't remember, uh, is the way that, that, that Grace would read that. Um, and so, I don't think that would go over very, very well. So, let's see, who's next? Rebecca. All right, Rebecca with a K. There we are. Incomplete. Reschedule. Okay, um, so again, you're uh, putting the ask into the subject line, which I haven't really seen students do before, so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I think incomplete is a little too vague, though. Um, she doesn't know what's incomplete. This is brand new information for her. Grace Talbot. Again, the last name feels a little, like, cold to me or something like that. I am so sorry. Start off with that apology. I think that's good. I like that. Unfortunately, my report is still incomplete. What? While I have worked on it, I was unfortunately caught into other projects and I regret that this one was sidelined. I have approximately 15 hours left on the project to do. I am working on it as we speak. Good. Looking proactive. Plan on staying late to hopefully finish it. Awesome. Looking super proactive and like you're taking care of it. As you know, that means I will be exhausted. I don't know that she knows that, but okay. I'm hoping for either one, reschedule the meetings later in the week, which Grace can't do. Or two, I send you the report and present it tomorrow. I send you the report and you present it tomorrow. Please let me know your thoughts. That seem like... Well, the first ask is impossible. Grace has no control over that. And the second one seems odd. Because you're preparing the report, how could she present it? She doesn't know all the information that you're going to know. So... And I don't know why you couldn't present it. Just because you're tired, that seems like an odd ask to me. Deepest apologies. I think that works as a closer. Um, and then you've got uh, the... I don't think you need this extra space here in between the closer and your name. Do you? I don't usually do that. I like... Oh, maybe that's what it... Well, so you've got these extra spaces here and here. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, please let me know your thoughts. So you've got the ask, the, really the ask that you give her at the end of the email is to for her to tell you what she thinks about this. Um, but you kind of put her in this awkward position where she has to present your report. And that's the only real option you've given her. So, uh, I don't know. Alrighty. Uh, but you definitely started off way stronger than other people. Starting off with an apology, I think, is the professional good personal thing to do because this is a, a colleague you're at the same level so that's the thing with these emails is you're gonna uh, do an email across to a colleague an email up to a boss an email if you are the boss to someone else and then an email outside of your company those are the four situations we're dealing with so this one since she is your peer um i think starting with an apology is a good way to go all right who do we got emily All right, Emily. Subject, project complications. That's a nice euphemism for what's going on here. Meeting postponement. So you put the ask. Man, this is crazy that all you guys are doing this ask in the subject line. I think you watched my uh, video and, and uh, I think it's stuck. So that's good. Um, of course, Grace is going to open that and she's going to read it. So good. Grace, I like the first name thing. Seems good. I'm sorry. Good. Uh, but I am not prepared to present this report. It hasn't been a priority over the six months, and I have not received any information for this project from you. That doesn't feel good. Um, again, that's like blaming her for your failure to do your work, I think. I don't, I don't like that. I would like to meet with you first thing tomorrow so we can hammer out the details of this project together. Um, I anticipate that we will need two days to finish this project. You don't have two days. You have one day. 
I suggest we postpone the meeting with the regional managers if we want to have the report ready for them. You can't do that. Regional managers are probably people traveling from some other place. And yeah, so that's not an option. Um, and then having her meet with you first thing tomorrow and hammer out the details, she might have a lot of stuff to do. So this ask imposes a lot on grace for your failure. So I don't know that that's the right way to go. I think so far the best way to handle it has been Rebecca saying, I'm staying late and I'm doing it. Uh, but then she did that weird thing with the ask of like, can you present my report? So, um, okay. I think we'll do one more maybe. Victoria. Oops. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Tia. Did Tia get one in? Um, yes, she did. Good job, Tia. Okay. Two, Grace Talbot. All right. Unmet project deadline meeting extension. Okay. So, yeah, you guys are killing it with these subject lines. You're, like, really doing everything you need in it. This is awesome. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm surprised and delighted. Grace, first name, good. I noticed your email reminding me the project is due tomorrow. Although I've made good start at the project last quarter, I regret to say that the past few months have, have proven the lack of effort on my part. Okay, you feel um, bad about it. That's obvious. An examination of my work will show that 75% of the project is unfinished. This will require about 15 more hours of work. Um, with the deadline approaching in the next 24 hours, I apologize in advance, good, that I will not have the time uh, I would like to finish this project. Being straightforward, given the facts, um, telling exactly how it is. I really like this language. This is working out really well. I still plan to work my hardest and to give my best effort to get this project done. Being proactive, I like it. But like I said before, it is going to take some time. Is it possible to move the meeting back three days? No, it's not. This would give me ample time to complete the project. I know that this is really inconvenient for you and I apologize again. Um, looking forward to hearing from you. So the only ask that you give is moving the meeting and that is uh, not a possibility. So, but you are showing you're being proactive and you're getting work done. So I imagine Grace is just going to tell you like, no, the meeting's tomorrow. We have to do this. Um, um, and then looking forward to hearing from you is a great closer and your signature looks great. So this is very professional, um, handled very well. Um, this is basically exactly what I want an email to look like from you guys. The spacing, maybe there's too much space here. But aside from that, yeah, there's two spaces here. You only need one space here. Aside from that, this looks exactly like what an email should look like. Left justified. The spacing is good except for this one. The signature like this. Yeah. And you come off as very professional um, and very apologetic. Uh, but then that ask just doesn't work. Um, so great. I think we saw some good examples and some not so good examples. Uh, that worked out really well. Um, for next time, make sure that uh, you're do, keeping strong with these subject um, lines. But then the other thing is remembering that there's a, this human on the other end uh, <laughs> that uh, has work to do and that your email could inconvenience their life and you need to you know, acknowledge that um, uh, if you can. Okay, so that's it. Thanks, guys. Uh, the email, next email, I don't know when it is, but I'll send it out to you. You'll see it. Good job.